Well, you, you know, VC is a hit space business, right? It's, um, you know, it's also a giant Ponzi scheme, meaning where it's kind of like musical chairs. But, you know, VCs are already starting to use analytical tools to, to make some bets. Uh, again, it's been a craft business where the artistry of both deal flow, finding the right bets, picking the right companies, doubling and tribbling down, working with the entrepreneurs, that's, a, that's been a craft. Uh, and probably a good chunk of it will still remain a craft because for now, it's still a people-to-people -people business. But picking some of those are, are I think, going to be automated as well. Um, you know, the bad news for founders, you don't realize that, again, you, you know, while you see one VC, they have a portfolio of companies. They barely remember your name until you found product market fit, and then they start paying attention. But also, it's it's a game. I mean while your interest might be building a product that changes the world, that's not their business model. It's a big idea. Well, they might like you personally, and, and some of them actually do like their founders. They don't really care at the end of the day. Their business model is to get the greatest return out of a portfolio of companies. Um, and so they're making financial decisions while you, you might be making, here's you know how I want to change the world decisions. And early on, your interests are aligned, but often your interests become unaligned where the VC wants to optimize the outcome and you want to, you know, be around for the next 20 years. Um, so that's something else I remind your, remind founders is that um, your interest and your investor's interest are sometimes not the same if your only goal is to, you know, change the world, not understanding their only goal is to optimize their return on, on the investment in your company.